can we expect more collaborations with our local artists here? I hope so. I mean, th this is... To be honest, I hadn't really thought about it before. Uh, I'd always loved coming to the Philippines. I wasn't that familiar with a lot of the big artists over here. Um, but when I, when I started to, to, to think about that would be a possibility, I started to look at you know, different people over here, I just sort of realised uh, how much talent there is over here. And I, I... I particular artist in mind yeah. Yeah, I mean, gosh, there were so many. I mean, uh, Sarah Geronimo, she, she's yeah. fantastic. Um, uh, who else was there? Um, Catriona Green. What's that? Catriona Yes, Catriona. Yeah, I mean, I didn't, hadn't seen much of her, her singing. She looks great. Um, <laughs> but apparently she's got a great voice as well. Um, and uh, what was that? Jessica, what was the... Jessica Sanchez. Uh, yes, she was great, and also Leia Salonga. Oh, she's yeah. great, but I mean, she's doing lots of musical, and actually, that's one that could possibly happen because she's more in the UK, <laughs> so it makes it a little bit easier for a collaboration. Yeah. But um, you never know, really. You know, you, you see, I've got some got some great songs. Uh, I've got a great ballad called Two by Two, which I'd love to do with somebody. How about the um, Filipinos in like UK, like Rachel Ango? I don't know. The ones, they're like they're in. Hamilton? Yeah, Hamilton. Oh, okay, yeah. I, I'm, I'm not as familiar. I, I actually went to see Hamilton the other day, so I must have seen it, but I'm not as familiar with it. Uh, but, um, but yeah, I mean, it's, it's quite... It, that would be a lot easier for me to be able to work with someone there and record it in my studio in London and stuff like that. Um, so, yeah, who, who knows what the possibilities are. But, I mean, it's great fun to see just how receptive the Filipino audience and how, like, uh, supportive you guys are of your own artists. It's just amazing. So um, the story, correct me if I'm wrong, but uh, as I don't understand, Sony gave you a list of names to choose from, or no, Sony. Uh, thank you. I um, or, I basically put out a tweet saying okay. I'd really like to work with Southeast uh, yeah, Asian yeah, artists, and then um, Southeast Asia covering Southeast. Yes, yeah, covering Southeast yeah. Asia because you know A One have had a lot of yeah. success over here, and we always love coming here, mm. and it's been kind of, sort of on our radar as uh, like an important place for mm. our group and we've come here a lot so uh, I put out a tweet saying can everyone suggest these people that might be good that I might not have heard of to collaborate with um, and people gave me a whole long list of, of, of names uh, various of people so I had a, a, a sort of good few weeks of, of looking at different people mm. and then uh, it was Sony Records that came and, and, and sort of pointed out Morissette and said we think that her voice and uh, the type of person she's would really suit this track and really suit your voice, you know, please check her out. And I did, and I got back and I said I couldn't agree more. Uh, and they made sure that, that, that it happened. And that's how it happened. Um, can I ask about like A1, the boy band? Um, yeah. What do you think of people like the, a lot of, you still have fans, A1, the fans of A1. Yeah, we just did a, a concert at the yeah. uh, Mall of Asia. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Through the years, I mean, they've not forgotten, forgotten your A1 as a band. Um, do you like, do you have, I don't know, what's, do you, are you okay with that? Like, they can get over the fact that you're doing other things. Well, I mean, I think it's great, you know, of course I'm okay with that. I think it's amazing to have written songs, you know, 20 years ago and to come over here and I, I literally have to go, uh, or you know at a concert I can treat me like a rose and every single one in that entire arena just sings the whole song back to me that's an amazing feeling and I think if I could go back in time and tell myself while well, I was writing those songs at a piano in my mum's house um, that you know in 20 years time you know arenas full of people were going to be singing them back to me I mean I wouldn't have believed you I'd be like no you know I, I hope to be successful blah 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 that's like a dream come true for all of us, you know. And, and it's not just that song, you know. So many of our songs have been so popular all over the world. So I'm, I'm really grateful for that. And I think it's so nice to, to, that people are still, you know. I think it, I think A1 and, and bands of our era represent a sort of nostalgic feeling for people. So that you know, life is life is tough, and we live in a weird world and like that. But it's an opportunity for people to come along and sort of forget about all the crap that's happening in their life now and just remember a time when they were kids and they had no troubles and they had no worries or, or whatever and it's like for two hours you just forget everything and just have a great time and that's what it's so nice to see in people's faces. What do you think of the new breed of boy bands from 
Korea. We have loads. I mean, we, we don't know uh, Korean boy band. I know K-pop is huge. Yeah. So, you know, I mean, I've, I've often been asked to go over and write for, uh, for them, which I will do, I will do soon. But um, I just haven't found it in my diary to do it yet. But um, I'd love to go over and, and do a bunch of writing for those kind of bands. But we, we, we don't really know them over in the UK. I know they're massive. Um, over here, probably the biggest type of bands, aren't they? Mm. But they're, they're, I think there's one that's broken through in the UK, is it? BTS. BTS. Yes, BTS. BTS. Now, BTS. They're, they're massive over there. Um, but apart from that, we don't really, we're not that familiar with any of them. Maybe we should be. Mm -hmm. Maybe uh, maybe I can bring them to uh, to that side of the world as well. Now, for sure, your Philippine fans would like to know how would you be spending your Christmas? Well, this Christmas I'm, uh, I'm I'm taking a bit of time off. Every single Christmas, for as long as I can remember, I've done uh, shows over in the UK. I mean, last year I did uh, 48 shows in in, wow. in a month. I did a, a lot, and I've done that every single Christmas. So um, this year, because I've oh, sorry, because I've been I've literally been working nonstop. Um, I said to my management, I was like, I really would like some time to spend with my family and friends and stuff like that this year. So I think they've booked me like five concerts. Um, <laughs> so, uh, so thank you to them. Yeah, thank you to them, which is great. So I can actually, you know, have some, have a bit of time off to chill, um, and that's what I'm doing. And you know, the nice thing about a song <coughs> like "This Is Christmas" is that it kind of does the work for you. So even though I'm not working, that will be, you know, you guys will be talking about it. It'll be played on, you know, we'll do the video. It'll be played all over the things on the radio stations and stuff. So. Um, Although I'm taking time off, the song won't, and the song will continue to, to live in my, uh. while I'm not, well I am living, but I'm not, uh, <laughs> not working. Nut sauce, what was that? Kare kare. Yeah, I, I found that a bit strange. But uh, everything else was nice. I've had uh, a lot of stuff with uh, chocolate. We went to a, a restaurant. Champorado. Champorado. Rice with, uh, yeah. yeah. Actually, most of it was rice the other day. I, I probably... It was, what? The purple rice and the, the white Oh, yes, rice. that was delicious. That was like a mostly Christmas dish, was it? Mm -hmm. I ate quite a lot of that. Um, but I mean, th there's so many. I'm, I'm not that adventurous with food, but they forced me to eat a lot of stuff. <laughs> um, and some of it was amazing, some of it. What was it? Oh, I had, I had fish in chocolate. Yeah. Didn't like that. Champarado with daing. Uh, that was weird. I didn't like that. That wasn't my favorite. But most of the dishes are, are quite nice. But I think adobo was probably top of my list. Which dish. places do you plan to go to in the Philippines? Those that you've not gone to yet? Oh, gosh, gosh I don't know. I mean, uh, there are so many lovely places like um, El Nido. You, you have not gone Haven't there. been there. Okay. Apparently that's beautiful. I did go to Boracay. I thought that was amazing. When was, when was this? What year? Oh, this was on uh, the last... No, actually, that Boracay was quite a long time ago. That was mm. about six years ago I went there. Mm. Uh, and then I think they closed it, didn't they? Yeah, and to have rehabilitate it. To rehabilitate it, yeah. It still, mm. looked, still looked nice when I went there. Um, so that reminds, do you have any suggestions of places I go? It's too easy. Chagal. Chagal. Oh, but I can't serve. surf. Uh -huh. I like to watch surfers. Coron. So I'll do that from there. Coron. Coron? Yeah, Where, Palawan. Palawan also. Is that is that yes. like El Nido yeah, area? Yeah. yeah, okay. Well that, that that's the goal. Are you gonna extend um, your stay here? here? Enjoy traveling. I'm gonna extend it a little bit, mm -hmm. yes. Um and hopefully uh go and visit a few more uh Filipino places I haven't been. Mm -hmm. Um but I I've got to be back in the UK by the twenty fourth mm -hmm. because I have concerts starting uh then. So up until then, I haven't really planned my trip yet, so I'll do a promo for another day here. We'll do a video shoot here today for the song, and then I'll be taking some time off and work out where to go. They've been teaching you Filipino words? Uh, maybe, Mahal uh, Kokayo and Salamat Po. That means I love you all. Oh, yeah. Salamat Po, which is uh, thank you, I think it is. Um, and what else? I have learned a few other things. Poggy. 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 Yeah, I was, yeah. Now, Poggy is an interesting mm -hmm. word because, <laughs> yeah. yeah, in English, um, podgy means that you're fat, uh -huh. and it's kind of spelled a similar way. So for many, many podgy. years, I thought that Filipino people <laughs> were calling me fat, and mm -hmm. even online they go, "Oh, Ben, why are you so podgy?" Which for me, in my mind, was "Why are you so fat?" <laughs> Which didn't make me feel great. And it was literally only, I think, two years ago that I found out that. You know, Poggy, handsome. I know. So they were actually being really complimentary. 
but I didn't know. I thought they were sort of saying that I looked horrible. <laughs>